Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to your family time. I'm Kelly, most of you are probably, yeah, been around before so you're probably quite familiar with the class and what we're going to be doing. Um, but it's a short but sweet family time. If you haven't been before, don't worry, everything is explained really, hopefully quite clearly so that you can uh, yeah, be involved and enjoy yourselves. If you have a strap or something that resembles a strap, that would be nice because we're going to do some shoulder stretches. Uh, otherwise, do not worry, it can work. Have yourselves in a little circle if possible and uh, cushions and blocks available for support, which is lovely. Let us begin as we like to sitting on our mats. So you can sit like this or you can sit on your uh, seat. Relax your knees, roll your shoulders, just kind of present yourself into your space so your families are here. If there's someone around that's not joining, just bring them in. Doesn't need a mat, just kind of say, come on in, come and join. It's not uh, a difficult class, it hopefully will make you feel good and suitable for everyone. So no levels or previous yoga experience is needed. Let's take our shoulders up to our ears and drop them down. Take them up to the ears, breathe in and drop them down. Take it one more time, take them up to the ears, drop them down. Let's draw some big circles with our hands. So breathe in and breathe out. Ah, a really big yawn, basically. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, take one more big breath in. Have a look at your families. Give them a smile. Big breath out. Ah, lovely, everyone. Take your left hand down to the side. Raise up through the right arm like a little half moon shape, fill up through the ribs, fill up through the whole side body, take another breath in, another breath out, and then lift up, and take it to the other side, big breath, big breath out, big breath in, big breath out, so you can breathe in and out through your nose, or breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. That's also really nice. Let's lift on up. Recross the legs the other way, if you're in a cross-legged, and take your hands to, to lower, lower them down. And we're gonna gather air as we breathe in, and then we're gonna push air down as we breathe out. So we really wanna think of breathing in. Lift all the way up and then push it down. So it's like kind of a bit more momentum. So we'll start with that. See if you can fill up, and when your hands stop, your breath stops. So your hands like the guide of your breath. So take a big breath in, big breath out. And the breath's a bit longer and louder as we push it down to the earth. Big breath in, big breath out. Good. Big breath in. Fill up, a big breath out. This time we breathe in. Push out to the side. All the way back, out your doors, out your room. Big breath in. Push on out. One more, big breath in. Push on out. Nice. One more. We take a big breath in. This time push away. Big breath in. Push away. One more for luck. Push away. Lovely. Nice deep breaths for the morning. Okay. Come onto your mat so you're facing your normal the long way. Find your seat on your mat or your cushion or your block. Well, block will be quite challenging here, but your cushions can be okay. Breathe in to squeeze. 
squeeze the core, relax the shoulders, and then lift up, we call this a boat pose. You can see I'm kind of like on the sea in my boat. And we're gonna reach the fingers out, we're gonna start to really bring the core together. If you want, you can also face inwards if you're in a, in a circle, so you can see if you can connect the toes towards each other. See who's balanced and see who's got that strong core and squeeze everything in. We're going to take a breath in and then we're going to come down to like a low boat. Breath out. It's really challenging me this morning. Breathe in. Breathe out. If it's too much, you can just keep the feet on the floor and just do little bits up and down with the body. If you want the full version, you can add the legs. So breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Feel that really strong belly which supports your back as well. Breathe out. Come on up again. Either hover the feet or you can have them a little bit lower if that feels too strong in the body or you're hurting in the neck. Have the hands by your side this time. We're going to just lift up a little bit if you can. And then we're going to start to shake out the feet for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, so you get that strength in the legs. Turn to another angle of your room to someone else, place your hands by you for support, and again, squeeze in, lift the feet a little bit, kick the water like we're in our boats for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, you've got this, 2, 1, nice. Now, arms and legs are gonna shake. So ultimate core, so really squeeze in, think of your breath, think of being grounded like a boat really secure on its water. And then you lift up, hands and feet are flicking the water. Are we ready? 10, nine, you've got this, eight, seven, flick, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that was quite a strong start done some breathing, done some core work. Keep that so we don't forget that. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And take five cat-cow stretches. So angry cat to breathe out. Cow stretch as we breathe in. Feel your core hopefully a little bit vibrating this morning. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. Breathe out. Keeping with our core, hands are going to be under our shoulders. Tuck your toes under and see if you can just hover your knees for five seconds. Someone is balancing a glass of water on your back, so you have to be really strong. Take another two. Take another one and come up to your down dog. The glass of water will now slide off your back. You're in your down dog, you walk out with your hands, you walk out with your feet. And I would love you to bring your chest into the arms because this is all about opening our shoulders and our chests. Feel that breath through the body. And now we're gonna take our dogs on a walk because our dogs always need at least two walks a day. So let's take them for their first morning walks as we're walking around the room. Find your balance, find your core. Try not to fall, take it in different directions this time. Try not to bash into your families. Use your body carefully to weave in and out of your family. And if you see someone, you might want to go, hey, and give them a high five with your front dog paws, just as doggies like to greet one another. You might want to say, hey, with your back doggy paw. Have a little more movement around your space. And then find yourselves back on your mats, in your down dog. Then take a big breath in, big breath out. Oh. Stepping your right foot forward, so you soften your left knee. You can bring a, a cushion under your left knee. And then we bring the arms up. We breathe out as we open the chest, squeeze the shoulders. Ah. We breathe in. Breathe out. Ah. One more to breathe in. 
Breathe out. Ah. Bring your hands forward. Step it to your long plank and then we lower down all the way onto our bellies. And then we come up to our snake to inhale. And we hiss it down as we exhale. To our cobra, inhale, drop the shoulders back, lift the heart. Breathe in, smile into your space. Breathe out. Awesome, one more, breathe in. Hiss it out. Now, hands under your shoulders, see if you can use all your strength to push you up to your doggy again. And I'd like you to wiggle your doggy tail, wagging that tail side to side, because dogs wag their tails. And when they're happy, take another three, two, and one. And now I'd like you to step your left foot forward, drop onto the right knee gently as you raise up, big breath in, big breath out. Oh. Really squeeze those shoulders. Inhale, big breath out. Ah. One more to breathe in, to breathe out. Ah. Hands come forward. Let's hold our plank and let's do a little challenge here. So you're in a long line. If it's too strong, drop onto your knees to take a bit of pressure off. If you want more, see if you can raise one leg. So you're balancing. If you're steady this morning and your core is strong, raise one arm. Have a go, see if you can balance. Perhaps if you're close to someone, you can see if you can reach and connect hand to hand. So it's always opposite leg to opposite arm. And once you've tried that one side, Try the other side, first the leg, then the arm. See how steady you can be. And when you've had a few goes, this is one you can challenge yourselves to do later in the days. Take a breath back in your plank, lower down all the way onto your bellies. Breathe in to lift up, drop the shoulders, breathe and hiss. Down, cobra, breathe in, hiss, one more, place the hands wherever feel good, hiss, and then I'd like you to push back to your rock, into your safe and secure rock, so that's like our child's pose, hands can be forward or back. Taking some deep breaths. And this is a nice place to come if you're feeling a bit unsure or nervous. Also, really lovely space for our backs if they're a bit tight. A nice thing to do in these rock shapes when you have the time is to, one of you bring, bring hands on the back and start to kind of massage or press down on the back to add a bit of weight and a bit of comfort. And that can be a lovely little exercise you guys do for connections to each other. Let's take another two breaths. And then I'd like you to come to sit. Now, if you have something like a strap or a towel or something that resembles a kind of strap-like thing, Please take it now, otherwise you can do this without. You're going to have to stand up here, shake the feet out, and this is a lovely shoulder stretch. So what you do is place the hands long on your strap. If you don't have one, just imagine you've got something in the hands. And then you breathe in to lift up, and then breathe out to bring it behind you. You breathe in to lift up, breathe out. If you're doing it without, you can breathe in and then breathe out to really stretch back. 
you're finding you need more stretch, you can bring the hands a bit closer. Breathe in and breathe out. Ah, you should feel a lot of space being created here. If it's too much, widen the hands away from each other. Ah, let's take another two more. This is a really awesome stretch if you're feeling a little tight in the shoulders and neck and chest, hunching out all day. You can really find the space through the shoulders and into the joints. Lovely, take one more. Always breathing in yoga so we have the breath through the body. And I encourage you to stick with this, so if you didn't have a strap this time, use it for next time. Let's place it away from us. Come onto your mats if you're not, and then bring your right foot forward, left leg back. So you're in a warrior two. So that's with the right foot facing forward, the knee over the ankle. The left foot is straight down to the back of the mat, and we're extending through the fingers. So we're stretching away from each other. We're extending and relaxing the shoulders. We're looking forward, we're breathing. And then we're inhaling to lift up, and then we're exhaling to come down. We're inhaling to come up, breathing out to come down. One more to lift up, one more to come down. And if you were here last time, you remember our bow and arrow and our warrior. So we lift our right arm, we take our imaginary bow, Breathe in, and we shoot it forward. We take our arm, we lift it up. We take our bow out of our bags, and we shoot it forward, using your breath. One more time. Shooting it forward. Good. Switch sides, so your left foot's pointing forward, your right foot is the same angle as the back of the mat. You're stretching through your fingers. We bring up as we breathe in. We come down. And then you can breathe out through your mouth or nose. One more to breathe in. And breathe out. Keep low with your leg. Check you can see that toe in front of you so your knee is out. And then we take our bow out of our bags. We breathe in. We shoot it forward. We breathe in. We breathe out. Awesome. One more for luck. Breathe in. See how far you can get that bow away from you. And then start to come up. Bring the hands and feet in. Stand in the center of your mat. Let's go for 10 jogs on the spot. Ready? Steady. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, join in. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake the hands, shake the feet. So our final short back to back breathing. If you've been here before, you'll know this is my favorite thing to end on. Join your families on a mat together, facing back to back. Really kind of come in together, squeeze the shoulders together, feel the connections on the backs together, relax the face and the jaw, and comfort each other with the support of you guys together, but not relying on each other to lean on, just a comfort. And I would like you just to sit, just to feel each other's backs. Start to feel the breath circulating through the body. Perhaps you've been practicing this one and you're already synchronized, you're already together. Perhaps you need a few breaths just to come together as a family, breathe together. And let's try five breaths. Close the eyes. and feel the breath moving around. See if you can get another three breaths together.
allow you to slowly finish that off. Keep the eyes closed, bring the prayer together. And I'd like you for your day ahead to think of something you're going to do that is just giving yourself a bit of space and a bit of time, something you enjoy. And especially for the adults in the home, it's really important to carve some time out for yourselves. So think of something you're going to do, share it perhaps, or think of it yourself, making sure you set time aside for that. So whether it be five minutes of meditation alone, a walk, reading a passage from a book, having a bath, something you need to make sure that you get that time. Think of that thing, take a breath in and out. And bow down to the earth, thanking yourselves for being here this morning and sharing the practice with not just your family, but other families virtually across the country, and across London, and thanking yourselves for just giving up this very valuable time. So well done. Think of what you need for today and make sure you act upon it. Be gentle, be kind to each other. Work on the shapes we did. So we did um, our nice shoulder opener. That was a new one today. We did a strap. We're using a towel. That's a really awesome stretch. And um, keep working on your lunge stretch or dogs. We did a plank today where we started to fly it forward with the opposite hand and leg, so that was a bit of a new one. We worked quite a lot on our core, so hopefully you'll feel some strength into your core. As always, any questions or comments, you can write them on the um, yeah chat. Otherwise, uh, Saturday 9.30, bring your props again, please. And, um, bring more families and more family members and uh, enjoy your day.